All right, you guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys um, two days of eating. So hopefully you enjoy videos like this. I know I always get a lot of p positive feedback in the comments that you enjoy this video. So Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janet, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, give this video a like, and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, so yeah, I'm going to share two days of eating with you guys. Um, and this is gonna be a little bit different because I am working both of those days. So um, the first day I'm actually working uh, nine to five and I'm going to be taking with me my first meal of the day. So meal number one, I'm going to be taking with me. And then meal number two, I will have that when I get home because I get off work at 5.30, so I will make supper at home. And then the next day, I actually do the opposite. So I make my first meal at home and I'm taking my second meal with me. So this will give you guys some good ideas if you're a full-time working mom, wife like myself, and you just find it really, really busy and you don't have time to meal prep or you find you need something easy to take with you to work, this video will help you give you some ideas of things that you can prep beforehand so that you can stay on track, okay? So if that's what you're interested in, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, first I wanted to actually show you a couple things that I ended up getting in the mail. There was a few things that I ordered and these I like to keep on hand so that I can keep on track, okay? A lot of these you don't necessarily need on keto. I've mentioned before, try to keep it really simple when you're losing. That's what I did to lose over 100 pounds. I kept things really, really simple. So it was the bacon and eggs. I was making egg scrambles. I was making um, steak and green beans. I was keeping it very, very simple during the months that I was losing weight. Now that I'm in maintenance, I give myself a little bit more leniency. Not saying that you guys can't have this when you're losing, but I would definitely say probably maybe limit it with some of the items. So the first item that I got, I actually get it from Amazon. And this is what I use to make my cinnamon buns. So if you guys have not seen that video, I made the most amazing keto cinnamon buns. I will link that video here. And they are amazing, you guys. Make sure that you watch that video after you're done watching this one, but it was so, so easy. So I'm actually going to be making one of my meals with the carb quick today, and I will show you guys that later on in the video. But I get this from Amazon in Canada. Um, it runs about $20, and it's a very, very big container. This lasts me a long, long time, you guys. So I do recommend getting the carb quick. You can make a lot of different things. There's a lot of recipes. You can even, um, on Google, search recipes on Google, you guys. And even on the back, it gives you some ideas for the cheese biscuits. I've made those before. Um, you can make the, um, pizza dough. I haven't done that, but I want to do that. Waffles, um, turkey pot pie, and there's also recipes inside of here as well too. So very, very good. If you guys don't have it, make sure you get some. I know it's $20, but this lasts a long time. All right. And then the next thing that I got was a very small order from Switch Grocery. I will have that linked. All the websites that I'm mentioning, I have linked down below. Um, but in Canada here, where we get our keto chow is from called Switch Grocery. They have a lot of different options for keto. So I just kind of stocked up and I wanted to try a couple new flavors of the keto chow. Actually, all of these I've never tried before. So I got the snickerdoodle. I got the raspberry cheesecake. I got the salted caramel, which caramel is my favorite and I've never tried this flavor before. So I'm anxious to try that. And then I got the vanilla as well because I've seen a lot of people using the vanilla keto chow to make like waffles or pancakes. So I do wanna try that with the vanilla. And then also, which I get from um, Switch Grocery, you can also get it from the lowcarbgrocery.com, which I always have linked down below. But you guys, this is my favorite chocolate chip cookie package. 
I don't make a lot of um, like chocolate chip cookies and stuff because it's really hard to find a recipe with coconut flour. I'm allergic to all nuts, so I can't have the almond flour. Um, so coconut flour is really, really hard for cookies because it doesn't really stay together very well and it's very dry when you use coconut flour. Um, so I just use this. This has no nuts whatsoever. Um, it is used with the sunflower seed flour. That's the kind of flour that is used in this. Um, and these are really, really good. I make these all the time. It works out to be one net carb per cookie. And I just love these. So make sure you guys go and get some of these. These are sold in a lot of places. Um, like I said, in Canada, I get it from Switch Grocery. I also get it from Low Carb Canada or low carb grocery, one of those. It's always linked down below. So you'll just have to kind of navigate through that website to find it, but really, really good. It is expensive. I don't buy them too, too often, but I like having them on hand. And then just the other day, I ended up getting my order through Nutra Market. I have their link, um, their website linked down below as well. So I decided that I wanted to try some of their crackers that they have on their website. I usually get the Eve's crackers, which I absolutely love, but I thought I would just give these a try. It's really hard, once again, trying to find crackers with no nuts. Um, so this had no nuts whatsoever, and I already opened it and tried one, and they're pretty good. I would say I probably like the flavor of the Eve's better, but this was just a good option to try. And then also too from the website, the Nature Market, this is where I usually find my pizza sauce. Now the Rayos is sold at our Costco here in Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. So that's where I stock up on my pizza sauce, but the pasta, uh, sorry, that's where I stock up on my pasta sauce is the Rayos at um, Costco. We have it here in our Costco, but for pizza sauce, we don't have any pizza sauce here that I can find anywhere locally. So I always order it online. So I stocked up on that. And a little bit goes a long way with this as well. It lasts a long time. And I also stock up on my Lily's chocolate chips. So I have gotten the milk chocolate ones before. I always like having these on hand. Sometimes I'll even grab a little handful if I want something sweet. And I have also baked with this as well too. I've never tried the caramel, so I wanted to try the salted caramel, so I got a package of that. And I also got, probably it's gonna be my favorite, I haven't tried it, but the white chocolate chips. My favorite chocolate is white chocolate, you guys. I know, but it's my favorite. I plan on making a couple, well actually, definitely, I plan on making one kind of Easter dessert with these, so stay tuned for that. I will have that in a video next week but I feel like um, the white chocolate's gonna be my favorite. And also, everybody's been talking about the Carbonaut bread, and I've gotten that at Costco many times. It sells in a two-pack. Um, it is seeded, though. That's the only thing I kind of don't like about that bread is that it does have all the seeds around. Some people like that, but I just prefer not to have it like that. So, guys, I found the regular white bread on the Nutra Market website. So that is a Canadian website, you guys. I'm sorry if you live in the States, I'm not exactly sure where you can find the white bread without the seeds, um, but maybe like I've always mentioned before, Thrive Market, I'm not sure what that website has on it, but um, it may have something like that. Um, it's kind of comparable to Nutra Market. We just don't pay like a monthly fee or anything for it. We can order anytime, but I've heard a lot of people order from Thrive Market and that it has a huge, um, keto options on there but i'm pretty excited that i found this you guys so i ended up getting two of them because what i do is i split them up and i freeze them so it freezes really really well so i usually do like either two or four pieces in each ziploc baggie and then i throw it in the freezer and then as i need it you know even that day i've taken it out and it thaws perfectly and it makes excellent french toast i've made regular toast with like butter and jam, and it's just a really, really good option. Now, something like this, if you're losing, I wouldn't have it every day. I would limit it to probably once a week, just because it's it's not clean ingredients. It's definitely like a dirty keto for sure. And um, it is kind of higher in carbs, so it's nine carbs and seven grams of fiber, making it two net carbs per slice. 
So that's another thing too, right? I would just be limiting in this if you are in the losing stage, but definitely nice to have when you're craving that sandwich or some toast or just anything with like a real, real bread. But you know what, you guys, it's a great alternative as well too. I know I even limit this as well. I probably have it, I would say, I would say twice a week, two or three times a week is probably when I have this bread. So I ended up getting two of those. So I am um, excited to have that. Like I said, it's a great, great option to have. So I am going to be putting this in the freezer. I, like I said, I like to split it up and split it up and then freeze it and then use it as I need it. So that's why I ordered two. These were $6.99 each. So very comparable to what I pay at in Costco. So that was another reason why I decided to order them um, is that it was pretty much the same price. I usually get the two pack in Costco for I think like $13 or something. So anyways, that's my little hauls. I wanted to share that with you guys. All of these products aren't necessary, but it kind of makes things a little bit easier. Um, definitely limit it. Obviously the keto chow, you don't need to limit. This is 100% clean keto. It is very, very good and it helps you kind of stay on track, definitely as a meal replacement. Um, once again, if you're a busy mom or a busy dad, um, you guys can make this the night before and put it in the fridge and take it with you as well too. If you're running out the door in the morning, you don't have time to make anything, you've never meal prepped anything, make one of these keto chows and take it with you for on the road. Very, very good um, meal replacement. All right, so that is just what I wanted to share with you before we get into this video. So let me share my two days of eating with you guys. All right, so today I'm taking breakfast with me and I decided to make something quick and easy before I went to work. And today I'm going to make a breakfast pocket is what I'm going to call it. There's really no recipe that I have for this. Um, I will try to link one similar down below, but I thought that I would use my carb quick, you guys, like I just showed you guys in my little haul and kind of make like a breakfast pocket. So um, make it kind of with like, stuff it with like egg and cheese and ham is what I'm going to stuff them with. And they're gonna be kind of like a pizza pocket, but breakfast style, all right? And it's gonna be keto, so let's get started. The first thing is, is that we are going to use, and the only reason I'm using this amount is because I know the measurements. So it's going to be three and a half cups of the Carb Quick. So I'm just gonna use what I have left over in my old bag of, of Carb Quick, and then I'm going to open up my new one. Okay, so I am going to take off my rings and watch for this just because I do have to like knead it. All right, so let's do three and a half cups. Need a little bit more. Okay, three and a half cups of the Carb Quick. And we will use one cup of water one cup of water and we are going to mix that all together. I'm gonna to use actually a spatula and I'm just gonna mix it all together and then what I do once it's all mixed is I will put it on some parchment paper and knead it all together so that it becomes a nice dough, okay? So let's just do that. Um, sometimes I add a little bit more water because it does get really, really crumbly. But once you start kneading it, it'll all kind of like blend together. You just kind of have to be patient and really work it. And then I'm just gonna knead it. Like I said, it's very, very crumbly, but don't get discouraged. It'll be fine. You just gotta work it. And I'm not the best baker by any means. So if you're watching this and noticing that I'm doing something wrong, that's fine. It's, I probably am. I make usually turns out really really good like even for my family I always try a new recipe once in a while and it does turn out good all the time um, it just takes some work right like I don't like making overly complicated recipes um, that's just not me I don't I don't do well I probably wouldn't even make it if I looked at it and it had a gazillion ingredients I honestly wouldn't even bother and that's just being honest with you guys um, and that's why on my YouTube channel, I try to keep things so simple and so easy because if it's things that I can make and that turn out like decent, then I share that with you guys because I feel like we're all busy. I feel like we're all busy. We all want something simple and easy 
and that's why I do it. And it's something that everybody can do. All right, I'm just gonna roll up all the little pieces. See, it's starting to come together already and you just have to knead it. You just have to knead it and it'll all come together as a dough. All right, so I'm just gonna knead this for a little bit and then we will get to our next step. All right, I think that is good enough. So we are going to let this rest for about 10 minutes. And while we are letting that rest, we are going to make our filling for our breakfast pockets. So let's get started on that. All right, you guys, we are going to keep this a simple filling. We are just going to do some eggs and ham and I'm gonna put it all in my, fr my frying pans. That is one thing on my list, you guys. I am getting new frying pans ASAP. My frying pans are so done. And there's one thing on my list that I wanna get is new frying pans. All right, so let's get that started. Put the oil all in there and then we will get our scrambled eggs. I am actually, I'm gonna make quite a few of this because I'm not sure exactly how much I'll need for the filling, but I feel like it's gonna be quite a bit because I know this recipe does make a lot. So I think I'm gonna make like, I'm gonna make six eggs, I think. We are just going to make that as scrambled eggs and I'm going to get the ham ready. So I'm going to use ham today, you guys. I'm going to use this black forest ham. I'm gonna slice it up. And I'm also going to put a little bit of cream cheese inside as well too, because I feel that's gonna make it nice and creamy. And then I'm also gonna put some shredded cheese in there as well too. So we'll wait until this fries up a little bit. We will cut up our ham in the meantime and then we will mix it all together and then our filling will be ready to go. So let's do that. All done you guys so we are also going to preheat our oven so I'm going to preheat it um, to 375 and see how that goes all right you guys this is going to be our filling that we are going to put in our breakfast pockets so let's roll out that dough and start assembling them all right, so let's roll out our dough. It sat for about 10 minutes or so. And I'm just, I like rolling it on a parchment paper. I just feel like it doesn't stick too, too much when I do it that way. Um, but if it does start sticking to your rolling pin, you guys, um, just put a little bit of carb quick on it. It actually acts like a flour. Um, so that's what I did here. I just put a little bit on top just so that it won't stick to my rolling pan or my rolling pin, sorry. All right, and we are just gonna roll this out and we're gonna try to make, hopefully, I don't know, hopefully six anyways, we'll see. We'll see once the dough gets all rolled out here how many we can make, all right? So let's get doing that. I think I'm just gonna try to make smaller ones and go from there. I'm not sure exactly how well this will work, but this is just one of my dishes that I have and I'm just gonna try to make circles and then we will put, we're kind of making like pierogies. If you guys have made pierogies, that's kind of what I'm going to try to do with these. We will see. I'll put, here is our mixture. And these are going to be our little pockets. So what I'm going to do now is just fill these up. And then I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to pinch the ends with a fork. Then we're going to put it in the oven.
Okay, you guys, these aren't the prettiest, but you know what? I think it's gonna work. They seem a little bit um, thick, to be honest. I might have, should have rolled them out a little bit more, but we will see how these turn out. So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some everything about the bagel seasoning on top of these, and then we are going to throw them in the oven and we will check on them in about 20 minutes. All right, you guys, that has been in the oven, I would say for about 10, 15 minutes, and they look pretty golden brown. So hopefully they're done on the inside. So what I did is I had it on 375 for about five minutes, then I upped it to 450 for the last 10 minutes. I will have, <clears throat> I will have down in the description like my recipe this is nobody's recipe i didn't find it anywhere it's just an idea that i had so let's let's let i'm gonna let these cool for a few minutes and i'm going to take um two of them with me to work today and i'm also i'm gonna put them in here this container and then i also have um some salsa in here because i thought salsa would taste really really good with them so I'm just gonna let them cool for a few minutes and then I will take them and we will be headed off to work. All right, you guys, so I did a quick wardrobe change because I do wear a uniform at the one job that I have. Um, so I quickly changed and packed up my lunch and I am just about to head out the door. So I will catch up in the next clip when I do have my first meal of the day. And I didn't even have coffee this morning. I just wasn't in the mood for coffee. So I may get an energy drink when I get to work. Um, but I will keep you guys posted and I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, you guys, it is, it's a little after 12 o'clock right now. And I am about to have my first meal. And I'm gonna give these a try, you guys. I'm so excited. So they look really, really good. I'm hoping that they're cooked all the way through as well too. So I'm not gonna heat them up because they're still a little bit warm, even because um, I had them in the container, but this is what they look like. And they smell delicious. They're nice and golden brown on the bottom as well. Mmm. Holy crap. You know what these remind me of? Is you know how you can buy those um, hot pockets, the breakfast ones, like with ham and cheese? That's what this reminds me of. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of salsa. Mm -hmm. I would definitely give these a 10 out of 10, you guys. Really good on the go breakfast. I probably would make the um, dough a little bit thinner just so I could get more of the filling inside but these are really really good I am going to have it with um, a diet coke all right everyone tonight I am making myself some spaghetti and meat sauce so in here I have a big container that I actually um, fried up some venison and I'm just going to take out a cup of this. I do mine separately than the rest of the family. So I'm going to take out a cup of that, put it in this little frying pan here. And then what I do just so that my measurements are correct is I will measure out actually a half a cup of this sauce that I use and this will be my serving. And this here will be the rest of my family's where I'll put the rest of that sauce and another jar in there. So let's go ahead and do that. This kind it's the angel haired ones and this is my favorite kind that I like and it is zero net carbs six carbs and six fiber 
very, very low in calories for the whole package. So I sometimes I'll have a whole package today. I probably will, depending on how hungry I am. But it's very, very filling because of the fiber. So I rinse it off very, very good. And then I put it in with my mixture, whatever. I make um, chicken fettuccine alfredo as well, too, with these noodles. And you can even make a chow mein. Um, these noodles can be used for anything that um, requires regular noodles. And they're very, very good and very filling. So I just mix it with whatever I'm cooking because it kind of takes on the flavor of um, whatever you are cooking. So I'm just going to leave this kind of cook for a little bit, probably about five minutes or so, and then it'll be done. And this is a simple, simple meal. And with it, I am going to have um, some Caesar salad as well, actually. All right, this is going to be my supper tonight. It is a lot. That is the new pasta with the meat sauce and the burger. And I just put a couple of the mozzarella balls that I have and then some Caesar salad on the side, um, romaine lettuce, Caesar dressing, and some Parmesan cheese. So that is going to be my supper for tonight. All right, you guys, so it is towards the end of the night. It is eight o'clock here. And I decided that I wanted to have a taste of that carbonate bread that I got, um, the one without the seeds. So I made a slice of toast here. And I put some soy nut butter, because um, I'm allergic to nuts. So I put some soy nut butter on there and then the raspberry jam. I've showed you guys the raspberry jam before, um, but it is my favorite. And it is keto friendly and what is the brand? Good, good natural sweetness, I guess. But this is what I get. I get it off of um, Switch Grocery. Uh, they also have it on the low carb grocery as well too. Um, really, really good jam if you're looking for a jam alternative. So I wanna try this bread, you guys, cause man, it, it seems like legit, like real bread. So let's give it a taste test. Okay, that's crazy. It tastes like real bread. It tastes like exactly like real bread. I don't know how they do that. Like I've mentioned that in before videos, but when I was losing, I probably wouldn't have been having this, I'll be honest. I mentioned prior in this video that I would limit it if you're in your weight loss journey, but when you get to maintenance, you can enjoy it a little bit more. I would limit it to probably like once a week. But this is really, really good, you guys. The website is always linked down below for Canadians. Nutri Market is where it's at, you guys. Has a lot of keto options on there. I'll have it linked down below. So I am going to finish that um, slice of toast. And that is going to be the end of today. And done eating for the night. I'll probably go to bed. I have a video that I need to edit. And that'll be it for the night, you guys. So I will put the total calories and the total net carbs up on the screen right now so you can see my day end where I ended up. But I was really full all day. And I think, first of all, um, the breakfast pockets that I made. Um, the Carb Quick is really, really, has, is full of fiber. That's why it's so low in net carbs. And that kept me full all day until I came home for supper. And then I had that new pasta and that also has a lot of fiber as well too. So when you include foods like that that are full of fiber, you will feel more full and as well as lots of protein. So I feel quite satisfied today. It was a really good day of eating, so I'm happy with that. So I will see you guys tomorrow with another What I Eat in a Day. Good morning, you guys. I am about to have my coffee. I left the fridge door open. That's weird. I gotta close that. I was getting my heavy whipping cream out of the fridge and must have left that open. It's closed. Sorry, you guys, I just woke up. This is me with my next day hair. It's the one thing about curly hair is it can never be styled and done the next day. I find I always have to shower if I plan on doing anything with my hair. I'm having my coffee of the day and uh, I'm having it the same way that I make it all the time. 
You guys know that I've been on an instant coffee kick. So it is um, three teaspoons of the instant coffee. And I put two sweeteners in it. I put a half a scoop of the cinnamon toast um, collagen, perfect keto collagen. I put in a splash of vanilla skinny syrup, and I also put in some heavy cream. I would say probably like two tablespoons of heavy cream. That is how I take my coffee every day. So today I'm going to be sharing with you what I eat again, and um, I have chaffles planned. So I'm going to use my um, four chaffle maker that I got. I will link that down in the description where I got it from. Here in Canada, I ended up getting it from the shopping channel. Um, it was $50, best $50 I've ever spent. It makes things so much easier rather than using the single dash for my chaffles. So I am going to be making chaffles today. And the good thing is, is that my lunch is going to be chaffles and my supper is going to be chaffles. So I'll be able to cook all four of those at once because I do work tonight. Um, so I will be making um, chaffles for dinner. So let's get into the video and I'm going to finish off my coffee here and then we will um, be making our meal number one to eat at home because I do work tonight, so I'm taking my supper with me, but I will be home to have meal number one. So let's get into today's what I eat. All right, you guys, let's get started on our chaffles since we will be using it for meal number one and meal number two, both meals today. And um, you guys have seen me make my chaffle a lot. So I'm going to make it, I'm gonna speed up um, the footage, but I will have the recipe that I always use linked down below. This video is already pretty long. So um, um, like I said, I've mentioned um, my chaffles before and I will have the recipe linked down below. So let's make those chaffles. <music> All right, you guys, truffles are all done and we are gonna leave it for four minutes. All right, you guys, we are going to check on our truffles. It's been four minutes. Ooh, that one kind of stuck to the top. Even though they stick, you guys don't panic because they, they automatically come off. It's pretty easy. All right, these are done perfectly. So we are just going to set them on this plate to let them cool. And my first meal today is going to be Eggs Benedict. So we are going to get started on that. And um, it's pretty basic, honestly. I will show you guys how to make it. But um, we're just gonna let these cool and let's get started on the rest of our ingredients. All right, you guys, so for the Eggs Benedict, we are going to need eggs, of course. So I have two eggs in here. I put some oil at the bottom. And a little hack for making poached eggs to make it a little bit easier is I put a little bit of water around the edges. Then I put a lid on it and I keep it on like a low to medium heat and just let those kind of um, get poached. I like mine medium. Um, but you guys can poach yours however you like them. I know some people put the eggs in boiling water and vinegar, but this is just a really, really easy way on how I like to make my poached eggs. So we will wait until those are done. And we are going to use some ham for the, um, for the meat in our poached eggs. Some people use the Canadian ham. Um, sometimes I even use bacon. Um, it just whatever you guys want to do but today I'm going to use this black forest ham and I will just wait until my eggs are done and then we will start on the hollandaise sauce all right you guys so we are going to get started on the hollandaise sauce a very very simple recipe I will have it linked down below in here I have one large egg yolk a teaspoon of um a teaspoon of water, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and some salt. So that's all I have in here. Make sure that you get a mug that's big enough for an immersion blender. So, and also you will need eight tablespoons of melted butter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my immersion blender down at the bottom of our cup and I'm going to turn it on. And then I'm slowly going to add each tablespoon 
of butter while I have this on, okay? So this is really hard because this is, has like just one speed, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to keep it on. There we go. And then we're just gonna add one tablespoon at a time. All right, there we go, eight. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna finish melting this, and this is what's gonna make our nice creamy sauce, okay? So it's already getting really, really creamy. All right, and that is done, you guys. It is honestly that easy. That's all really hollandaise sauce is, is um, an egg yolk and butter, okay? Now let's assemble our eggs benedict. All right, so here we have our two chaffles. And on each of those chaffles, I'm just gonna put one slice of ham. I think that's going to be enough. If you guys wanna put more, um, it's up to you. Ham or bacon is really low in carbs. We are going to take our poached eggs and we are going to set those on top. If you guys have one of those, um, those circular egg things to make your eggs like a perfect circle, feel free to use one of those. I'm just not that fancy. I don't have the patience for that, to be honest. All right, and then we will add our hollandaise sauce on top of that. Like, it's just so nice and creamy, you guys. Really, really easy. Don't try to over comp like, don't try to over complicate recipes, you guys. Like, this is really, really easy. Um, you guys know chaffles are like super, super easy to make. I make them all of the time, They're very versatile. Uh, and same with this hollandaise sauce. You guys, you don't have to overthink it. And it's not a lot of ingredients. And um, so, you know, and, and you can enjoy your favorite brunch items. You just have to alternate a few of the ingredients, right? So I don't know about you guys, but I like a lot of hollandaise sauce on my stuff. Um, but feel free, you guys can use as much as you want. Definitely this is low in carbs. It, all it is is just egg yolk and um, butter. So feel free to use as much as you want. So the, I would say this probably makes a good um, two servings, like for you and maybe your husband or if one of your kids wants um, some of it. But there you guys go. That is going to be meal number one. Final product of our eggs benedict, you guys. How delicious does that look? So let's give it a taste test, all right? Let's do the taste test. It looks good. Mm. Really good, you guys. Tastes like Eggs Benedict. You guys won't miss Eggs Benedict on keto because you can just make your own at home now. So make sure you give it a try. All right, you guys, I am going to get started on my supper and I am having burgers. I'm gonna have a burger truffle for supper tonight. So I just used the last of the package. There was four left in the package. So I thought I would just cook them all. I have a little bit of olive oil on the bottom and I'm just gonna cook all of these at once. They take about five, eight minutes on each side, not very long at all. Um, but these are the burgers I get. I get them from Superstore here in Canada, but I wanna show you guys an important thing is that make sure that you are getting clean ingredients for your burgers you guys or you can make your own i'm just always take the easy way out and these ones here have no carbs and make sure you're checking the carbs on burgers because a lot of them put fillers in it's very very hard to find actually a burger that has zero carbs but um i always buy this one it always has the zero carbs a lot of other ones are three four five they even go up to 13 grams of carbs Make sure you're checking your nutritional information on everything that you're getting. So I'm just going to fry these up and then um, we are going to assemble our burger for meal number two tonight while at work. All right, you guys, so our burgers are almost done. So we are going to assemble our chaffles for meal number two. So what I like to put on them is the Hellman's mayo. I've used this all throughout my weight loss journey, you guys. Um, it is um, kind of dirtyish keto, I guess, if you're looking for something uh, clean. But I've used it throughout my whole journey and I really like it. So I put these on both of the chaffles. I find that it just kind of um, keeps the chaffles a little bit more crisp. 
um, and keeps the moisture away from the chaffles. So I always do both sides. All right, and then I'm going to put some shredded cheese on mine. You guys can put whatever toppings you like on your burger normally. Um, so right now I don't have any bacon that is made or else I'd probably put bacon. I put, in, put an egg on there before. Um, egg is really, really good to put on um, a burger. It adds more protein, gives it a little bit more flavorful. But today I am just putting some cheese on there. And you guys can also um, put some sugar-free ketchup as well too. Sometimes I do take a little container with me to work and then I'll put it on my chocolate when I'm ready to eat it. So that is all that I'm gonna put on my burger right now other than obviously the burger when it's done. But I also wanted to show you guys, I'm going to take some lettuce with me. So what I do to keep my lettuce crisp because I don't want it to get soggy, um, my chaffle, and especially when I do warm it up at work. So I will take lettuce with me and I just wrap it up in some paper towel and put it in a baggie and just take it with me. And you guys can do that with, like I said, the sugar-free ketchup or pickles as well too. You can slice up some pickles, wrap it in a paper towel and take it with you. And then when you're ready to eat your burger, when it's supper time at work, then everything will taste really, really fresh and won't make this all soggy. So let's get our burger on here and finish this up. All right, you guys, this is our burger. So we are just going to place that on top. And what I usually do is I will let this cool for a little bit before I put it in my container. So that is what I'm going to do. So this is my container right here that I have. It's a glass dish. I usually do prefer taking glass when I have to warm something up, but obviously any dish will work. So this is what I'm going to put it in and then I will have my lettuce to take with me as well. And that is all I'm going to be having for my second meal. I'm also going to take some uh, fat bombs. I will show you those. So I am going to be taking actually two of my homemade keto bombs. I made these previously, so I will link the recipe that I use down below. Very, very simple, you guys. I think it's like three ingredients, I wanna say, and I just keep mine in the freezer. Um, so I'm going to be taking two of these, so I will put these in a little plastic baggie and take them with me. And that is going to be meal number two, you guys. All right, you guys, so meal number two is all ready to go. So that's my chaffle, my lettuce there, and then my two fat bombs. So I will take this to work, and I promise you guys, it will definitely fill you up. This chaffle is very, very filling. Sometimes I can't even finish it, it's that filling. So very, very easy meal for you guys to take um, with you to work, warms up very well, and it'll keep you on track on keto and keep you satisfied for the rest of your day. All right, you guys, that's the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed these two days of eating, you guys. I kept it pretty simple. It's recipes that you can make at home, recipes that your family will love. I always try to do that to keep it simple and easy. And I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure that you leave me a comment down below letting me know that you're liking these videos. And also make sure that you like my videos. It really, really helps my channel grow. We made it over to a thousand subscribers. And now I would like to get to the next milestone, which is going to be 5,000 subscribers, you guys. So make sure that you change your sharing my videos and make sure that you like and comment as well too. So until next time, you guys, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button, give this video a like and make sure that you hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a video. Thanks for watching.